Uh, who said it can't be a, a pleasure and a privilege to make your debut at 83 and 54 below? <laughs> That, uh, maybe, uh, by the way, my name is Bob Donahoe, and that is Leroy Reeves. Uh, let's take a little uh, history lesson here this evening. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go back 48 years. 48 years was 1969, to be precise, and it was the year as known as Chappaquiddick, unfortunately, the man who landed on the moon. Woodstock Nation, and Stonewall Uprising, which led to the Gay Pride. And of course then, to make sure that you have this for your history quiz, that was the year that Robert J. Donahoe met Leroy Reeves at a small restaurant uh, in the village uh, called Mona's Royal Roost on <coughs> Horatio Street. Shortly after we met, Leroy auditioned and was personally chosen by Richard Rogers to appear in his revival of Oklahoma at Lincoln Center. And indeed it was, everything's up to date in Kansas City. He sang his little heart out and danced his little feet off. You can watch it on YouTube. This boy decided that he always wanted to do a musical himself and auditioned and got the role of Jeff Moss and, and Compton and Green and Julie Stein's musical Bells Are Ringing at the Lakewood Musical Playhouse in Pennsylvania. And just in time, yes, I met him just in time. So I came back after the show closed, uh, turned in my rented convertible, paid my Brooks Brothers bills that I bought my own wardrobe for, and went back to do what I always have done, Advertising. <laughs> An original madman. Yeah, I was. I was. Uh, actually, uh, during my career, that was the uh, was part of the Madman series, 1984. Well, the summer went on, and it was marked basically with milkshakes, uh, ice cream sundae, and movies until my birthday, September the 28th, uh, 1969. And that's the night Mr. Ream said, Mr. Donahoe, how would you like to spend the night at my apartment? <laughs> wow. And he never left. <laughs> Not quite true. Yeah, I, I see. There's my stool. Sit. Thank you. Sit. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, during Oklahoma, of course, when I asked Bob to the opening, he rented a limousine, so that was a big mark. And so after applause, I mean after uh, Oklahoma, I auditioned for applause, the musical. I went back dancing on the Ed Sullivan show as one of the dancers. And uh, I was told that I, they were very interested in me playing the role in applause. Well, I didn't get the part. And uh, they hired another actor. I was very depressed. I went back to dancing on the Ed Sullivan show, which was a step down because I just played a role on Broadway. So I was very depressed on New Year's Eve. And Bob knew that, and he went out and got a bottle of champagne. And we toasted, and I said that night, you know, they made a big mistake. I should have had the role. The next morning, they called, and they had fired the actor that night. And I was called in rehearsal the next day. That's how it happened. And so anyway, one more story. Now I'm auditioning for 42nd Street, the musical. And I was told that I was going to audition for the role of Andy Lee which I assumed was the Dick Powell part. Well, it wasn't. They thought I was too old for that part. So they had me audition for Andy Lee, which is the choreographer in the show. And he didn't have a number, so I was not going to take the part. Uh, I was not going to go to the audition. And Bob said, don't be a fool. Just go to the audition and do what you do. I did take his advice. I went to the audition. I told my accompanist I'm going to do my up tune. Don't wait for them to ask for the ballad. Go right into the ballad. A dear girlfriend of mine, Tony Kay, was in town. She came out and we did a big tap dance, and I got the part. <laughs> so that, that, that qualifies for where you are now. I have to tell you, as a little side story here, you'll notice tonight we don't have a lesbian couple here tonight, for whatever reason. Well, there you are, darling. Well, thank God you're here. <laughs> because you know what? I slept with a woman once. I was going to be the token lesbian. Tonight. So, here we are. so 
so I chose I chose this song because number one, it's a classic and understands why we're together. But I also chose it because I think that most of you who are here tonight will respond to this song and maybe it'll become your favorite song too. So here it is. Why do I do just as you say? Why must I just give you your way? Why do I cry? Why do I try to forget? It must have been that something lovers call fate Kept on saying I had to wait I saw them all Just couldn't fall till we met It had to be you It had 